Hey everyone, I just want to give you a little tutorial on how to do a file save as. It's going to be short, sweet, and simple. So here we go. We're going to start on Illustrator. Pull that up. And normally I would do a file open here to get the file that I was going to work on, but since um, our CD that's in the back of the book, or DVD, it's probably a DVD, I'm not sure which one. Anyhow, the disc in the back of the book um, <clears throat> has an auto run on it. I'm going to click start. Give that just a second to pop up here. Data files for students, chapter one. And I'm going to get this first file right here. AI 1-1. See the name right here? Okay. I'm just going to do a little something different to it. I'll select each one of these green parts and I can select them all by just continuously holding down my shift key and clicking on the green areas. I think I might have missed one right there. Let's see. And just click over here on some red and there we go. Okay. I'm just going to leave that green right there and I'll go file, save as. Now, two things to note here. First of all, it's doing a save as and it's giving it the same file name as what it already has. Well, I want to name it Red Motorcycle. So I'll just type that in there. <clears throat> and down here at the bottom, uh, well actually there's three things to note. The format, it has a Adobe Illustrator AI as the default and that's perfectly fine. That's what I want to leave it as. However, in the future, you may want to save one as an EPS to bring it into Photoshop, or you might want to save it as a PDF. The other formats, we may touch on some this semester, but basically we don't really get into that much. Okay, now um, the big thing here is right here. Where are you saving it to? What Illustrator wants to do is save it back to the disk of where you ca it came from, but you can't do that because you can't save it back to a disk. So we're going to need to create a folder for this. Now you can create a folder or you can just save it as a file, either one. Uh, but you're going to need to do that on your hard drive or your flash drive. So my window is going to look a little different than yours because I'm using a Macintosh computer. But bear with me, we'll get you through this. Um, I can slide down and go to desktop, but you're going to need to click right here. Um, <clears throat> you'll click and scroll down and you will see like my computer, you will see um, desktop, I think you will see both of those things in this list. And uh, if not, you might have to go to C drive and then documents and settings and then desktop. Uh, but you may also just save to my documents. Whichever way you want to go, save it wherever you want to. But this is going to be your navigation area here. Um, select your folder or, or your area and then create your folder. I'm going to select the desktop and notice down here this button right here new folder. I'm going to click on that and it's going to ask me what to name the new folder and I'm going to call it Illustrator Files and just hit return or enter on a PC keyboard and now I have an Illustrator Files folder and if you look over here on my screen you'll see Illustrator Files right here and I'm going to click Save. Now I get the Illustrator Options window to pop up, and this is pretty much default. Just leave these settings the same, don't bother anything here, and click OK. And it has saved the file as redmotorcycle.ai. Notice the new name up here. All done. Short, sweet, and simple.